Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today we're going to do a very quick game mechanic walkthrough for creating a binary path. Some popular games out there, such as Zigzag and Zigzag Boom, have randomly generated binary paths where the path will only ever go in two directions. So here I have my project from our Zigzag tutorial series, and I'm just going to click play and show you what it looks like so far. And so here you can see that I have a randomly generated binary path where the path is either going positive on the x-axis or positive on the z-axis. And just to show you that it is randomly generated, I'll play through this a couple times. Now let's walk through the code. All right, so all I'm going to show you in this lesson is this one single function, which is my generate starting platforms. Now the first thing that I have inside this function is a for loop that will execute as many times as this variable. This variable is just an int variable that we can actually set in the inspector to be however many platform segments we want to start with. Now inside this for loop, we want to first figure out which direction we want the next platform segment to be instantiated in. And so I'm randomly picking a number between 0 and 1, and I'm saving that into this variable. Once you have the direction figured out, you can then create an if statement based on that number. And so if that number is equal to 0, then I'm instantiating a new platform segment in the next position, and I get the next position from this current platform variable, which holds the transform of the last instantiated platform. And so based on the position of the last instantiated platform, we're then adding on vector three dot right times two. And I'm just multiplying this vector three dot right by two because my platforms are two units in width. The rotation of the platform is just 000, zero, zero, and we are then saving the instantiated platforms transform into our current platform variable so that this will be ready for the next time we iterate through our for loop. I then have an else statement for if our direction is not zero, and I've copied the same line of code, but rather than instantiating it on the positive x axis, I'm instantiating it on the positive Z axis. So now that we've gone through the code for how to generate the start of a binary path, we'll go back to Unity. And in Unity, here I have a empty game object with our script attached. And this script has three variables. The first is my platform prefab. The second is the transform for the current platform which is this platform on the end of our path. And the last variable is the number of platforms that I want to be instantiated at the start of our game, which I've set to 100. Now that's everything that I'm going to cover in this lesson on how to generate a random binary path. And this path happens to have a starting point and an ending point. Now the code in this lesson is just a tiny snippet from our member exclusive tutorial series on how to create a game like ZigZag. If you want to gain access to this series and learn how to make this game, then go to our website, which is www.infogamerhub.com and sign up as a member today. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. In fact, there's a couple videos right over here that you might enjoy.